hello everyone welcome back to my channel if it's your first time on this channel you are welcome i am an aim coach and i'm an author and i also do business today's video is all about composting basically i've got um some compost here which i got from asda and i've got another pot here and then i've got a few um what's it called a few planting pots here okay so i'm gonna actually get maybe four more okay so so with these empty ones i'm just going to put a, a little bit of compost at the bottom not too much Okay, so about that much in each compost, uh, in each planting pot. So, so I've got some there, and I've got some in that one. So I've got three down, a few more to go, and I've got some in there. So there's four already. And I've got another one. To go. Okay. And then once that is doing its thing, let me turn on my cooker because I'm actually going to be cooking while my son is sleeping. So I'm going to prepare some dinner. And okay, so this one actually has some stuff in there already. So I'm just going to have to make do with that one. So, so in this one already, which I thought was an empty one, it's got potato peels already. So I'm just going to use it as an example of what I do. So normally when I have potato peels like this, I put them in the compost to, to um, for them to disintegrate into the compost. And it gives good nutrition to the compost, which in turn is good for my crops so then i don't have to use um certain fertilizers to fertilize my food um to fertilize the soil and the compost to make it um good for the what's called for my crops um so yeah this is what i do so that's what i'm going to show you the process so this is already done so i just let it leave it like that to disintegrate and um and another good thing about potato peels, I'll explain in a bit. Let me get on with my... So I've got my two potatoes here. And then... So I'm just going to peel them. And as I peel them, I'm just going to put them in here, the potato peels in here. Okay, and... And then after... So let me get on with that process of peeling. So I do the same thing with my um, orange peels. I do the same thing with my um, tangerine peels, lemon peels. Um, and also I do the same thing with eggs, eggshells. So when I've cracked my eggshells, instead of th my eggs, instead of throwing the eggshells into the bin, I use it in my um, compost, which is which gives off nitrogen, which is good for my crops. 
And for those of you who also do flowers, um, this would be good for your flowers as well. So it's not just um, edible crops, but the only flowers that I do at the moment are edible flowers, which is things like lavender, English lavender. So, um, so that's what I do. So you see? So I've done one there, okay, so I've done one, so I'm going to be making potato pottage, I'm going to be making potato pottage, so if you want to see a recipe potato pottage, watch my favorite YouTuber Sissy Yemi. You can go on her channel and watch it. Um, her name is Yemisi, not Yemisi, because there's another uh, lady who is called Sissy Jemima. But I'm not talking about Sissy Jemima, I'm talking about Sissy Yemi. Because sometimes it can be easily confusing. So then I cut that there. Okay, so that's, that's the one I'm going to eat. So this bit I eat. This, this pills is for my compost, okay? So then let me get another pot. So I'm going to divide it around. I'll show you that, that process in a bit. Okay, so let me continue with my chopping. Okay. So I hope you guys have been enjoying my videos. For those of you who have subscribed, thank you so much for your support. For those of you who comment on my videos and their good comments, thank you so much for your comments. Um, if you've got any comments, any questions to do with, with um, planting for food, put it in the comment section and I'll respond accordingly. And um, for more content on planting for food check out my page on instagram um called ahp food store so this is the bit that i eat so it's gonna go nicely into my pottage into my pottage okay so that is me sorted so now i'm just going to wash My son is sleeping, so I'm trying to do these things to get them out of the way. So, my pot is ready to boil. So, let my food... So let my food do its thing. So now, because I want the, the, the potato peels to go around, I am just going to take these pots and I'm going to take these peels and I'm just going to chop using my kitchen scissors. Just chop them so that each pot will have enough potato peels and um, what I would say is don't add any water to your to your um, compost because if you do um, especially if you use um, potato peels if you do it's going to grow okay it will grow and I've had that which is not really a, 
a problem because you can pluck them out and then chop them again chop them down again to um to decompose but to avoid having to go through that process especially if you're using big planting pots and all of that is better i found that it's better to um to do your compost using these without um without adding any water so it will dry and then when you the top soil as you go along you can put um a little bit of water to mo for the moisture so um for it to release the nutrients into the soil um just put a little bit if you're going to water it just a little bit okay but otherwise it, it it can just decompose like that so i'll keep on doing doing um doing cut chopping them up so for the eggshells you just crack um the eggshells into into smaller pieces into the um into the compost so that's that one so then i'll i'll do it into this one as well so i've done three so far including this one that i've just done so then i've got four more pots to go okay so once i'll show you guys once i've done the the um the potato peels and all of that and the same thing goes with vegetables so things like sweet peppers um the the what's it called the parts that are not edible as well you can use it in there um things like sweet potato peels or any of those pills but i don't you and the good thing about this is when god showed me this and i started to use it i understood like as to why because the good thing about it is that it doesn't make my house smell because when you use um food leftovers as in cooked food leftovers you if you don't have a composting bin um it will end up it will end up smelling in your house it will make, so if you're growing indoor if you have an indoor garden your house you'll find that you have a smelly house and then also um prone to what's it called uh worms and all of that stuff so this saves me a lot of that um so that saves me a lot of it so now i've only got one of that to go so then i just take from each pot and to make it go around and that's literally it so then because i don't have um because i don't have topsoil okay just let me help this go further along i didn't chop this when i did it so for illustration purpose for illustration purpose i've got some compost here okay so then what you do is when you've done that you then fill up your pot to the top with extra compost okay but i haven't got loads of compost today i'm going to go out and buy some more compost tomorrow but i wanted to do this video today so you just cover it up so all the way to the top all the way to your top okay so that's what you do so i'm going to do all these ones